Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be doing a simple tutorial on how to import photos on into Autodesk Inventor 2017. First off, you're going to want to launch the application or the program, click New, click Standard Millimeters, and then once you've gone into this bit here, you want to click Start 2D Sketch. You're then going to want to select the plane on which you want to work on. For example, mine's going to be the X and Z plane. Then what you want to go is go up to your ribbon up the top, and then you want to click Image, and then find the image you want to use. Now you can uh, use images online, or say if you've done a really cool drawing and you really like it, you could take a picture of it on your phone, and then go onto your onto my computer, and then your phone should be there, or your US, or whatever it is that you've took. A um, a picture with and then you can just drag it to your desktop and use it that kind of way um, I would show you but all my USB ports are full um, so yeah I'm going to just use a uh, image I found online and which I used for my sister's project that I did for her which is this one right here uh, what's it doing it's having a spaz You want to just click where you want it on the screen. I'm just going to do mine there. Next out of that. Now sometimes your image may come up sideways or um, upside down or whatever. So f what you want to do is, is go back up to your ribbon and click rotate. Select your image and then rotate it. I normally rotate about around like the center of the plane. To this you want to just click yes if this comes up for you. And then just rotate it around so that it is the right way for you. Or you could just, you know, rotate the screen, like by doing like that, or like that. But I just normally rotate it around the the default way it comes when you make start a new sketch, cause it just makes things easier. When I first made this, um, instead of doing the whole heart itself, I just did uh, these bits here first. I just quickly grab this, you'll understand. Just those bits there, like the actual top part of the lock and then I did the heart separately mainly because you want the heart to be symmetrical on both sides so to do this all I did was is drew half well uh, traced half of it um, did a line of symmetry or put a line down that one half so if, if you can see that little line that runs down there I basically did everything on the right hand side and then drew a line where that line was and then just copied it and then just used the uh, where is it? Mirror the mirror function up here, and then you just select the whole side of which you've done all your drawing. So all this bit by here, and then on the mirror line, which is the line you drew down the middle, you want to click that as your mirror line, and it'll just project it onto the other side, and you just click done or apply, and that's how you get a completely symmetrical half. Um, I do have one already pre-done, which I'll show you right now. Uh, which is this one right here, which is, as you can see, the drawing you just had, which I just had up. And that's the heart done. The other heart has a bit more, a few more, um, like, curves and things, like by here, for example, whereas this one doesn't. It just has kind of like the raised parts of where this wheel should have been. I just did that to make things more convenient and easier. But as you can tell, this is basically that heart. And it's, it can come across as being a nice little gift for someone. I will put the card um, drawing up on Mediafire if, if you anyone wants to download it and do a custom on it. You can do that. Um, but all the credit goes to the person who ever drew it. I don't know who it was, but all credit for that goes to them. I don't, I'm not saying that I drew it because I can't draw very well. But um, yeah, all that credit goes to the other guy, or the female even. Not being sexist or anything. So, But yeah, that's um want me to do it. And I just want to quickly say thank you for everyone who's been watching my videos I've got over 7,000 subscribers on my um, Autodesk Inventor tutorial and I'm so psyched from it I've got 31 subscribers even though like PewDiePie has like 3 million 31 is good enough for me and it's just awesome so I just want to thank you guys uh, so much for all of your support please let me know anything you want me to do in the comments below um, I'm not too sure what you guys want to know so any 
queries that you may have, any things you're not too sure of, I'll be more than um, more than willing to show you guys how to do it. But um, yeah, so I'll catch you guys in the next video. Uh, cheers.